If you want to go on a trip somewhere, it helps if you have a map or at least you know the roads that you need to take to get there. So when we talk about intentional living, that's all we're talking about. The roadmap to get where it is that you want to go. Welcome to the Highly Unlikely Podcast. Today we're going to be talking all about intentional living and what it is and why it's important and how you can get started living an intentional life all on your own. So what is intentional living? Intentional living is taking that vision for your life that we all have in our mind, like what our very best life looks like when we daydream about how it would be if everything was perfect, and then figuring out the path that we need to take to turn that vision into a reality. So if you're thinking about your dream life, it's not just like, oh, I want to be a doctor. That could be one part of it, but your vision for your life is something bigger. You're imagining what kind of a house you live in or who you're surrounded by. What do you do with your day-to-day activities? Who do you talk to? Uh, What kind of food do you eat? What kind of a car do you drive? What does your hair look like? What kind of clothes do you wear? What kind of uh, finishes do you have in your house? What does that house look like? These are all the things that we're talking about when we talk about envisioning your ideal life. You're imagining what that whole world looks like in its very best version of what you can imagine that your life would ever be. And then coming up with the road that you need to take, the the things that you need to do, the, the goals that you need to achieve to make that vision a reality. So if you're one of those people that kind of just live day to day and whatever happens, you just kind of go with the flow and whatever is happening that day, intentional living might not sound like something that's that big of a deal. But if you're somebody who's like me and you have big dreams for your life and you have things that you want to accomplish, intentional living is so important and it's such a good avenue to help launch you down that path to start taking the steps that you need to actually achieve your goals. Imagine like a little dandelion seed that gets blown off of the dandelion and wherever the wind blows, the little dandelion seed just shifts with whatever breeze. Somebody shuts a car door, it might create enough of a breeze to completely change the trajectory of the little dandelion seed and it could land anywhere and wherever it lands it just tries to make a life there. There's people that actually live that way. Wherever the wind blows and takes them, that's where they go. But if you have a specific field that you want to be planted in and you have a certain place that you want to grow, it's really, really important that you create the wind in the correct direction to blow you where it is that you want to be. If you think about like a ship on the ocean, right? A ship can just kind of float around and not really ever get anywhere. But intentional living makes you the captain of the ship. You're the one steering the wheel. You're the one navigating the, the, the waves or the storms that come along. You're the one directing the ship where it is that you want to land and where you want to build your life intentionally. So if intentional living sounds like something that you would like to explore further or you would like to start intentionally taking actions in your own life to achieve goals, you start with that vision in your mind. But rather than just thinking about it, you're going to write it all down. You're going to write it down in detail. You're going to make sure that you've captured every ounce of detail that you can picture about your ideal life in its very best version. And then you're going to ask that all important question. What do I need to do to make that life a reality? For example, if you wanted to be a blogger, You could say, I need to start a website. I need to start a social media page so that I have somewhere to publish my blogs. I need to get an email list started. And I need to get 
an SSL certificate for my website. So those are four things that you need to do, four milestones that you would need to reach in order to have a blog. Once you have your vision for your life and you've written it all down, those actions that you need to take, those things that you need to accomplish, those become the milestones on your journey to achieving your best life. If developing a website is your first milestone, then you're going to break that down into what you need to do, the actions that you need to take to get a website up and running. You might need to figure out which platform you want to be on. You might need to hire someone to help you develop it, or you might need to buy a template and develop it yourself, right? You're gonna have to come up with content that you can put on the website so that you have something to publish. These are all actions that you need to take in order to have a functioning website. Now comes the intentional part of intentional living. Each day, you're going to take actions. You're going to intentionally make decisions to take actions that will get you closer to achieving that milestone. If you wake up every day and you know you want to be a blogger, and you know that you need to get your website up and running, but you never actually do any of the things that need to happen in order to have a functioning website. Having a goal and figuring out what you need to do to achieve that goal hasn't benefited you at all. It is the act of intentionally deciding every single day to work towards achieving those goals that makes your dreams become a reality. If you get stuck, which sometimes we do. I've, I've had milestones along my path that I've, I've worked to achieve and it seems like I can't get past this one action or I can't achieve this one milestone. And it's normal to feel like you're just stuck once in a while. There's a book that I read that is very, very popular. I highly recommend that you read it called Atomic Habits. Atomic Habits is all about the small actions. We think about like something that is atomic size. It's very, very tiny. Atoms are extraordinarily small. If you think about small changes, just focus on making yourself 1% better. If you post blogs, you post content all of the time, focus on making it 1% better each time. Just focus on making those small changes, just doing a little bit better. If you have a milestone that you're really struggling to achieve, just work on getting 1% closer. If you're stuck on building a website and you can't afford to hire someone to build it for you, but you just don't understand all of the, the technology and all of the coding and all of the things that go into making that website, just spend time every day doing a little bit of research, just learning more about one thing. Eventually, it's going to come together. Eventually, you're going to break through that obstacle. You're, obstacle. You're going to take that, that step, take that leap. You're going to move past it and you're going to keep going because you never gave up and you continued to push to be just a little bit better, to make just a 1% progress, just to move forward just a little bit every single day. And that really is what this is all about. It's intentionally deciding this is what I want for my life. These are the actions that I need to take to make that a reality. And then choosing to do it over and over and over and to continue to choose to work towards your dream life until you have achieved your dream. So start by clarifying the vision that you have for your life. Then figure out what big things you need to accomplish. Do you need to have a certain career? Do you need to move to a certain area? Do you need to be married and have children? Do you need to go to school and study a specific thing? Is there a class that you need to take? Is there a mentor that you need to get signed up with? Whatever the big things are that you need to achieve in order to have your dream life, lay out those things. You can use post-it notes on a whiteboard. You can use your bathroom mirror. You can make a Notion page or start an Excel spreadsheet. Whatever it is, lay all of it out. This is my big goal. This is my dream for my life. These are the things that I need to accomplish to achieve that goal. 
and then start working on figuring out what actions you need to take to achieve each of those milestones. And then every day, get up and do something intentional. Make that choice to move closer to your goal, to take those steps and make it part of what you do every single day and start working towards making your dream a reality. And that's all I have for you today. Until next time, take care of yourself, be kind, and live your best life.